Hello, Buzzer Cuts, my name is Hotsa C and welcome back to Beltless Facturio, where last time uh, we boosted the uh, green circuit production by adding a third factory. Uh, let's remove that. Up here we are. This is our third factory. Maybe we can also add a tag there. Right. And currently we can see we don't have on all delivery stations train coming or waiting. And if we look at uh, productivity, uh, we can basically see we are maxed out on uh, the green circuits. And that's basically because we are maxed out on the copper wire. Looking at the iron plate, there we see uh, basically uh, same consumption as production. But if we look at uh, our iron stations, we can see there are a few stations open for business. So I think that's probably not uh, the, the main factor. But if we look at our wire here, uh, we have constantly wear going in and we have pretty much uh, always wares being picked up. Um, so I think if we want to boost uh, our factory even more and the end goal is we want to get more blue circuits out here and by the looks of it we could maybe do this a bit more delivery seems like uh, especially green circuits are not yet that well backlog but then we also have to remember uh, this factory uh, blue circuits that takes 10 times the amount of green circuits as it does of red circuits so no wonder uh, we are almost full on red circuits but green circuits not so much so so here probably we could do uh, with with a few more train deliveries but for that we of course need more red circuits and more green circuits so i think first order of business is let's try to get more copper wire out here and the way to do this, I think, is by speeding the whole thing up. And we do have a, a few speed modules. And especially here, we can see the, um, the uh, copper is backed up a bit. So we should be able to supply s at least some of the factories with copper to produce even more and then of course we have to see that we also can pick up these things for example here we have a station that's not picking up anything up here as as well but let me also add the speed modules for the uh, upper factory here and then we shall see do we need more trains what kind of trains do we need um, no 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 you go out there. Uh, we don't want to have the speed modules moved around there. Uh, 
also in here. And maybe uh, then we are basically limited uh, by the inserter speed, especially where we have long-handed inserters for uh, putting things out. But now let's have a look, not on the on the green wire, but on here. Maybe we are a bit higher. Maybe not. But let's see. Delivery all are blue. So that means either a train is coming or a train is there or we should not deliver more because we are backed up like here for example. Um, but on the pickup side, I see we have quite a few stations that are now white, well, meaning we could actually pick up some more. So let's find an empty spot uh, in our train network, uh, maybe over here. Grab some locomotives and some wagons and then take this train. Oh, we want a delivery train for green circuits. Let's copy that one to here and let's go there. And maybe then we can also have, I'll put the second train here because I am out of coal and we need to fuel the train and then maybe we can have another train for red circuits. shall start there and then the next thing yeah now we can see we, we still have two uh, empty stations here for uh, on the on the wire front, um, and of course um, we have here the delivery. Both stations are full, and we just added another train. But that was was a bit of uh, hindsight uh, because we need to add another factory for red circuits anyway. So let me make my way over here without being run over by a train. And go to the map mode. Copy this. And I think this one is, is quite good because it has beacons, it has productivity modules in it, and we shall paste it down here. Yep. 
Yeah, I think that's the that's the closest thing that we can get. Um, over here, we need different signaling. Uh, we learned that, otherwise, we're running into problems. There, that's good. And while all this has been going on and uh, waiting for more uh, modules to being produced, um, I did a bit more research and I think the next step is to even out all the, the different levels. You can see on, on some of these we have level 9, uh, on others we are on uh, a much lower level. So I think we should level all the infinity research to level 9 uh, and then we can we can go from there. But for now we probably um, should continue here building this factory hopefully I do have enough wares probably not run out of fast inserters stack inserters long-handed inserters uh, Productivity modules. That's apparently also. Oh. No, that was just run out of juice. So, here we also want to have the, the right signaling. There. And there. Um, yeah, so I probably have to go back, grab a few more materials to finish that off. And what we then also might need to do, yes, here, this, this copper field has run dry. And we should probably go around the other ones, uh, make sure that we remove uh, uh, miners that are obsolete and uh, just make sure that we still get the amount of copper that, that we need. Because looking here, all stations are, are blue. So maybe we just need to hook up another copper field. But we will have a look at that uh, once I have finished this setup here. Uh, at least at this point I think I have enough modules for it and uh, everything else should not be that difficult to get. The second factory is in here and it looks good. It looks good. We are delivering stuff uh, up here. Copper, we are also pretty busy. But what we also see here, we have two parallel stations for copper plate waiting. And if we are looking at our various copper stations we can see all of them are blue so that's a slight indication that maybe uh, only just uh, sorting out uh, the miners that are here around is not enough we need to do a proper cleanup maybe hook up another copper field for our needs and that really sounds like a project 
on its own. If we look at uh, the production that we have here, so let's have a look at one hour. We can see we had a dip there that's probably due to lack of, uh, of copper. But then if we are constantly at this level, then we are at a higher level than we were on average before. So I think uh, copper wire production, we have uh, solved that at least for now. We just need to make sure we can also supply the copper plates for it. Then green circuits, uh, we are currently uh, on, on an upward trend, but uh, over the last 10 hours, yeah, if we look at it, 15 hours, we can see an upward trend and this, this down tick here, that's probably due to a lack of copper because we can see that coincided with the, the, the drop of copper there. The upper line that's copper is shooting up again. So probably just had a massive delivery of copper plates. Looking at uh, red circuits, uh, we can see we have once again maxed out production here and that's basically the peak where we add the second factory uh, coming down again that's probably due to supply issues uh, and once we have those solved we should be able to produce a lot more of the red circuits as well looking at blue circuits well that's just up and down uh, between producing a reasonable amount and producing nothing so nowadays we are at 90 per minute so that's one and a half per second uh, i have seen in the past uh, where we had almost uh, managed to have two circuits per second. But basically all this depends on green and red circuits, how fast we can deliver those. So if we manage to pump up these numbers, we will automatically get more out of the one factory that we have because you see if we would not have these these down times and even if we only would go to to uh, about here that would already be a massive increase of the average that we are producing but i think that will do for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, also tune in next time when we fix some more issues probably with our copper fields until then goodbye